Hello, my name is Oren, and today I'm going to speak about license compliance in engineering licensing, and specifically we'll focus on network named licenses. So let me share my screen now. Um, we are talking about license compliance, and let's start by explaining what are network named licenses. Licenses. So typically named licenses are not managed by a license server, but in this case they are. They are named and they are managed by a license server. In that case, we'll give an example for FlexLM. Um, what the vendor requires the user to allocate each license to a specific user, and I took this example from a uh, Matworks uh, website, so explaining how to do it. So in the option file, I defines I define a group named MATLAB users, and I allocate the licenses to five people. And then I also create another group and allocate it to three people because I only have three licenses. Then I include. Uh, the MATLAB users groups into the feature MATLAB, and then there is a signal toolbox that I allocated to the signal users group. So I did the allocation, and now only these people will be able to consume a license, a network name license. So what's enforced by the license manager? So um, the, the combination of license manager with the option file that I was forced to configure um, assures that only users uh, that were um, allocated the license will use one, and it's my responsibility to do it. It also assures that I'm not going over the um, total amount of licenses I, I purchased. Uh, what's not? Enforce is the changes to the allocation. So uh, I assume that in the contract it tells you how much, how often you can change the allocations to the different users. And this is something that can be audited by the vendor. So um, thank you for uh, joining in today. I would like to get your feedback on that. What do you think? What's your experience specifically on, on this? Um, and if you liked it, click like or subscribe. Thank you.